Welcome back to another tabletop review. Today we'll look at the Glock 43 9mm pistol. More than a couple of years ago my son and his wife were visiting us and asked me to review his Glock 26 baby Glock, which at the time was his everyday carry weapon. My son's a military professional and a big Glock fan. He was convinced that if I just review his gun I'd be won over to the Glock fan club. This was my first Glock review and you can still see that review from my playlist as episode 202026. If you've seen that review, you know that although I've never owned a Glock at the time, I had a lot of respect for the Glock brand, but in my opinion, they're just usually not for me. I concluded that even though it came with fewer rounds and had a higher price tag, my Kimber Micro 9 was still a better choice for me. Now recently during a holiday visit my son brought along his latest everyday carry this Glock 43. Once again our conversation regarding his choice has led to a review. My son claims that the Glock 43 is the perfect concealed pistol. But things are a bit different now because with my purchase of a G17 primarily for home defense I finally became a Glock owner myself a few months ago proving I hope that I'm not biased against the Glock brand and my everyday carry has also changed from the Kimber to a laser equipped SIG P232. So today we're going to take an honest look at the Glock 43 as a choice for everyday carry. Will I be won over or will the Glock 43 fall short? Let's see. But first let's make sure that this gun is cleared. By the way, if you enjoy this review be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Now I've covered the history and background on the Glock in depth in previous reviews, so I'm going to skip that for this review. Focusing primarily on the Glock 43, it's noteworthy that all previous Glock models were thick double stack designs. In 2015, with the introduction of the, of the G43, Glock had entered into the 9mm slimline striker fired market competition. In the beginning, Glock handguns were designed as standard size double stack 9mm pistols. The first effort to scale down Glocks was with the compact Glock 19 in the early 1980s. But the Glock 19 was still a large gun, standing 5 inches high with a 15 plus 1 round capacity, 30 ounce loaded weight, and a 4 inch barrel. It wasn't until 1995, with the introduction of the baby Glock, the Glock 26, that the Glocks really began to lose inches and ounces, significant enough to be considered a subcompact while still having a 10 plus 1 shot standard magazine capacity. Even so, the Glock 26 with this double stack magazine was still every bit as wide, 1.26 inches, as the standard size G17 that preceded it by over a decade. It would take another two decades until Glock released the Glock 43, a truly slimline 9mm carry option. The G43 introduced in 2015 is just over an inch wide and the slide width measures only 0.87 inches. Overall length is 6.26 inches, about a quarter inch less than the G26. The results have shown the G43 to be highly successful in law enforcement and civilian market with over a million sold in just the first three years. Now this is where I'll usually point out movie connections if I can find them. Glocks are popular firearms for use in movies, so it's not surprising to find the Glock 43 to have some screenshots in some recent popular films. First we have the 2019 film Avengers Endgame, in which Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff frequently displays her Glock 43. And in the 2021 film Black Widow, we have many scenes with Glock 43s and even Glock 26 handguns shown. As for packaging, the Glock 43 came in a typical Glock plastic case, came with uh, manual and other paperwork, and one extra magazine and a, a mag loader, cleaning brush and tool, and of course the lock. The Glock 43 is a semi-automatic subcompact 9mm pistol. Glock classifies the G43 as a generation 4 pistol with characteristics of their Gen 4 line. By the way, there's almost an inch taller G43X model and also a 380 model, the Glock 42. The action is single action striker fired. The 
capacity is 6.1. Barrel length is 3.41 inches. Overall length is 6.26 inches. Overall height is 4.12 inches with the standard mag inserted. Overall width is 1.6 inches at maximum, 0.87 across the slide. Safety devices uh, include the, uh, the safety trigger, firing pin safety, and drop safety. There's no option for a manual safety lever. The weight with an empty magazine inserted is 16.23 ounces. The weight with a six round magazine inserted, 20.64 ounces. The sights are drift adjustable rear, fixed front, as the typical Glock pattern, plastic and uh, replaceable sights. Slide is steel with a matte black diamond-like surface treatment. Grip frame is non-fiberglass reinforced polymer. Note that it lacks the typical Gen 4 modular backstrap system, but also note the inclusion of a beaver tail to reduce slide bite. The main thing to remember about the Glock 43 is that it was designed to be carried for self-defense. It was never intended to serve as a target pistol or a, a plinker. Think Ruger LCP or Beretta Cheetah, except that the G43 is chambered in 9mm rather than 380 ACP. Other 9mm competitors include the Smith & Wesson NMP uh, Shield or the, the SIG P365. A comparison firearm for me that I actually own would be my Kimber Micro 9. I like the Kimber, I'm good with it, and I've carried it often enough. So how does the Glock 43 compare to the Kimber? Well, actually, pretty well. They're different, but I'm not going to go into a pro and con comparisons of the Kimber here. It would end up just being a list of personal preferences. For everyday carry, one of the nice features of the Glock 43 is its overall size, which in my opinion, works with any concealed carry holster orientation. It's comfortable to carry and easy to hide. Of course, the micro grip size means that there's less to hang on to, and no doubt the 6 plus 1 round capacity is a compromise that comes with its compact size. Higher capacity magazines are available. Obviously, the lack of accessory rail eliminates the option for mounting lights and lasers, and as such, the Glock 43 would not make a good choice as a home defense weapon. But like I said, that was never its design purpose. And if those are deal breaker issues, then perhaps you should take a look at the Glock 43X, which also comes in an MOS version, or if you prefer, there are shops that will mill your slide for a red dot. At the range, I had taken my Kimber Micro 9 for comparison. I began with the target set at 50 feet just to see what I could do. After the first magazines, I moved the target up to my standard training distance of 25 feet. The G43 was operationally flawless. Shot Blazer 115, green full metal jacket, ultra target, and range rounds. Now, compared to my son's Glock 26 that I reviewed last year, I thought this G43 was snappier, but actually a little smoother than my Kimber Micro 9. Okay, I'll admit that I do like the Glock 43. Compared to my Kimber Micro 9, the G43 is basically the same size. I appear to be able to shoot both guns equally well, and the Glock is indeed much cheaper. I can really see the attraction of the G43 for my son. It is certainly a very good choice. However, I still like the looks of the Kimber. 
its, its trigger action and its 1911 style function and the external thumb safety, but that's just me. As for cons, the G43 is decidedly compact, so there just isn't a lot of grip to work with. The Glock didn't give the G43 the same modular backstrap system that all the other Gen 4 guns from Glock enjoy, which allow the users to, sw to swap out the backstrap and change the palm swell point of the grip without changing the user's grip angle. Of course, there's always the option of building up the grip via grip tape or using a hoe grip sleeve, but the lack of the extra back straps is a bit disappointing. And if you're a fan of weapon-mounted lights and lasers, you can also expect to be disappointed. No rail. Finally, there's no option for a frame-mounted manual safety lever. Now, my son says he doesn't care about any of those issues, so for him, the G43 is perfect. As for pros, first and foremost, the G43 is a Glock. It's been shown to be highly popular with military and law enforcement users for years. Also, the G43 is incredibly popular because it's one of the most compact, reliable 9mm pistols available, especially when we're talking everyday use as a carry gun. And of course, Glock enjoys a wide range of aftermarket support when it comes to holsters and upgraded components. Simply put, I may believe that it would be very hard to find an everyday carry handgun better than the Glock 43. As for a breakdown and disassembly, well, it's typical conventional Glock. First thing we're going to do is remove the magazine. We're going to pull the trigger. Then we're going to pull down on these tabs on either side there, pulling the uh, slide back just a hair. And that allows us to slide the slide off. And then we can remove the recoil spring and rod and of course the barrel and that's it reassembly is the opposite we're going to return the barrel recoil spring and the rod and then we just return the slide to the frame and check the function that's it as for cost, the suggested retail price on the Glock 43 is about $540. The most common price I saw today was $460. It's not too bad. Now before we end today's video, I'd like to remind you if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe down below. And thanks for watching. This has been a brief review of my son's Glock 43, which has replaced his G26 as his everyday carry weapon. He's been carrying it now for about a year, and in my son's opinion, the Glock 43 is the perfect everyday carry pistol. Comparing it to one of my favorite everyday carry guns, my Kimber Micro 9, I think he's made a pretty good choice, especially given the reasonable cost of the Glock 43. Okay, we began with the question, have I been won over by the Glock 43? I've got to admit, the Glock 43 does offer many of the features that are important to me in an everyday carry self-defense gun. It's slim, lightweight, easy to carry, and handle. It actually can be pocket carried, whereas uh, I thought that the Glock 26 was just a little too heavy and thick. Am I ready to trade in my Kimber yet? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure I want to give up the trigger action and external safety. Now if I could get a whole sun red dot installed on a Glock 43X MOS for the right price, that might really be hard to pass up. Until then, any weapon you carry is better than the one you left at home. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll be back for my next tabletop review. Until next time, stay safe.